In this video, how to diagnose a faulty camshaft actuator on Chevy Equinox vehicles is shown. Begin by identifying the vehicle you're working on. Select Domestic Asian. Select Chevrolet. Please confirm the vehicle's ignition key is in the key on engine off position. Select Done. Select Detect Automatically. Select Enhanced Powertrain. Then select Quick Test. Select Run Quick Test. The Quick Test will display specific vehicle information and stored fault codes. Our subject vehicle has two fault codes stored for the exhaust camshaft actuator circuit, P0010 and P0013, as well as a fuel trim fault on the enhanced side. Select Back to return to the Diagnostic menu. Select Sensors and Actuations. Using the search bar, locate and select desired exhaust camshaft position. Clear the search bar and locate exhaust camshaft position. We can now compare these two values. Be sure the wheels are blocked and the parking brake is on. Raise engine RPM to about 2000 RPM. Exhaust camshaft position should match desired camshaft position. The values do not match, indicating a current fault with the camshaft actuator. On a good, normally functioning engine, exhaust camshaft position should match desired camshaft position as shown here. The two values mirror one another. The solenoid circuit can be tested a few ways. Working at the exhaust camshaft actuator, disconnect the electrical connector by removing the plastic lock, then press the release tab and pull the connector straight up. The first quick test for the engine control module and wiring is to install an incandescent bulb in place of the solenoid to test the engine control module's ability to activate the solenoid. Using fused jumper wires attached to a bulb socket, insert the jumper wires into the exhaust camshaft actuator electrical connector. Start engine. If the bulb illuminates, the engine control module is controlling the solenoid circuit and can be assumed to be functioning normally, pointing to a faulty solenoid. In this case, the bulb is putting a 2.2 amp load on the circuit, confirming the integrity of the wires and the driver in the engine control module. To further test the circuit, you can use a scope. Connect your test leads to the exhaust camshaft connector. Next, connect your scope leads to the test leads at the connector. We are connecting channel A to the control side of the solenoid and channel B to the solenoid ground. Attach your scope ground to the engine at a suitable grounding location. Start engine and allow it to idle. On channel A, you should have a digital square wave from about 4 volts to battery positive volts. On channel B, you should have battery negative volts, close to 0 volts. This test also confirms the engine control module is functioning normally and the solenoid is faulty.